Namaste yogis, welcome to your booty and leg flow. As the title of the class says, <laughs> today we'll be working on our booty muscles and our leg muscles so that they can become a little bit stronger and you can find more stability in other maybe more advanced poses in your yoga practice. Um, for today's practice, you might need a block. It's not a very necessary, but if you're not very open in the hips yet, it might be good to have something on hand to kind of have more support. So for now, you can put that to the side. We won't need it until a little bit later in the practice. You can come towards the back of your mat, come to a child's pose. So come to sit onto your heels. You can decide whether you keep your knees together or you part your legs. Knees together is usually better if you feel some tension in the low back because your legs can kind of support your back. If your low back is fine, I would advise to part your knees until about the width of your mat. Walk the hands away from you. Sink all the way down as far as you can and then bring your forehead either down onto the floor or if it doesn't reach the floor, just allow your head to hang heavy. Take a few breaths here to settle yourself. Gently start deepening your breath. And see if you can balance out the inhales and the exhales. So that means that you're trying to make them of the same length. And then with every inhale, see if you can find a little bit more length throughout your spine. And with every exhale, allow your body to melt even further down into the floor. Releasing any tension that you're holding on to in the shoulders, in the hips. Three more deep breaths here. Imagine that you could breathe all the way towards your hips here. So breathing as far down as you can. One more breath in and out. And you inhale, look forward, come to all fours. Bring your knees hips distance apart and the hands will be right underneath your shoulders. From here, we'll go through a few rounds of cat and cow. So on the inhale, you hollow the back, you allow your belly to drop down, you glide your shoulder blades down the back, you open the chest, maybe look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round the back. So pull everything in away from the floor. Lift through the armpits. Bring your chin into your chest. Inhale, hollow again. Lift your tailbone. Open the front of the body. And exhale, round. This time opening the back of the body. So now you're bringing the stretch into the back, basically. Inhale, open up again. And exhale, round. One more cycle here, just following your own breath. And then gently come back to a neutral spine. Bring the attention to your belly button. You're going to lift your belly button in towards your spine and then gently pull it up towards your heart. So it's an inward and an upward motion. Keep your core engaged there. This is called Udhyana Bandha in yoga. From this core engagement, you'll extend your right leg behind you. We're going to start warming up um, our glutes and our hamstrings here. So all you'll do is you'll bring your right foot up towards the ceiling. So you bend your knee, in other words, and you flex your toes. From here, on the inhale, you lift your heel up as far as you can. Make sure you keep pulling the heel in towards your hips. So don't be over here. You want to keep that angle in the knee here. On the exhale, you round the back and you bring your knee in towards your chest. Inhale, kick your heel up towards the ceiling. Exhale, a little crunch here. Bring your knee into your chest to round the back. Inhale, a little kick. Exhale, crunch. Just a few times here, following your own breath. You should feel the muscles of your booty engaging as you kick your heel up. 
three more. Try to move with your breath. Exhale, knee in. One more little round. Inhale, kick. Exhale, knee in. Good. Moving over to the other side. You gotta make sure that your core is nicely engaged before you start moving. From here, extend your left leg back, bend your knee so that your the sole of the foot is facing the ceiling, and then flex your toes so your feet will be flat facing the ceiling. On the next inhale, kick your heel up. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest, round the back. Inhale, kick up, neutral spine. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, knee in. Again, just a few times here with your breath. If you notice that your wrists are starting to feel a little bit funky, make sure you have a lot of space in between your fingers and press your fingertips firmly down into the floor. Three more. Again, making sure that you keep that uh, bend in the knee here so you keep pulling the heel in towards your hips. Good. One more round. And then come back to all fours. Walk the hands forward. At least one hand, tuck your toes under and come to your downward dog. Feel free to pedal out the feet here. Make any movement that feels good to you. And then gently come to a standstill in your downward dog. Take a look forward. Make sure that your hands are shoulder width apart. Okay, you want to spread your fingers as far apart from each other as you can. Then allow your head to hang uh, heavy. So just look back behind you. Press your chest towards your knees. So you're pressing the chest back towards the wall behind you. Then press the upper arms together towards one another and spread your shoulder blades. So bring space in between your shoulders. Keep pressing the hips back towards the wall behind you. Feel free at any time to bend the knees if that feels better for the hamstrings here. Two more breaths in your down dog. If you're able to strengthen or just stay straighten the legs, make sure that you press the heels down towards the floor. They might not reach the floor yet, that's fine, but they're pressing down in that direction. On the next inhale, walk the feet together. Big toes are touching, exhale here. Inhale, extend your right leg straight up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Keep engaging the inner thighs towards one another so that your right hip does not roll out. So you wanna keep your hips square to the mat. On the exhale, bring the right knee into your chest, roll forward, bring the right foot in between the hands and then the left knee will come down. Inhale, reach your arms up, come to a low lunge. Make sure that your right ankle is stacked underneath your right knee. So they're nicely in line here. Core is engaged. And for now, just keep your back toes tucked under. Some people like to have the feet flat or the back foot flat, which is fine, but we're going to transition to something later on, so keep your toes tucked under for now. You should feel a nice stretch at the front of the left thigh here. On the exhale, bring the hands out in front of the heart. And then from here on your next inhale, see if you can lift your back knee off of the floor, coming to a high lunge. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Keep your core engaged to help you with balance. Last one. And exhale, come back down. Place your hands down onto the floor. Step your right foot back, come to a plank position. So lift both knees off of the floor. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, shift the weight forward. Come all the way down to the floor. Maybe first through the knees. Untuck your toes. Inhale, baby cobra, just lift your chest. Keep pressing the elbows in towards the body and press through all 10 toes down. On the exhale, downward dog. Walk your feet together. Take a nice deep breath in and out here. Keep pressing your chest back towards the wall behind you. On the next inhale, lift your left leg up, coming through 
a three-legged dog. One more deep inhale. Exhale, bring the left knee into your chest, roll forward, step the left foot forward in between the hands, right knee will come down. Inhale, lift the upper body, low lunge. Again, same thing here, check your front ankle, make sure it's underneath your left knee. Core stays engaged, so keep pulling your belly button in and gently up. Make sure you reconnect with your breath here. Throughout the whole practice, try to keep your breath as smooth as possible. On the next exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, lift the back knee off of the floor. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale. And exhale down. Come to your plank position. Step your left foot back. Knees off of the floor. Take a deep breath in your plank. Exhale, shift your weight forward, come down. Maybe first through the knees, come all the way down to the floor. Untuck the toes. Inhale, either a baby cobra or pressing through the hands, come to a full cobra. Make sure your elbows stay bent, shoulders are relaxed and down. Exhale, downward dog. Couple of breaths here. Feel free to pedal out the feet again if that feels good to you at this point in the practice. And from here, walk your feet back together. One breath in and out. Our next inhale, lift the right leg straight up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, slip the right foot forward. Just bring your left heel onto the floor so that your back foot is at a 90 degree angle. You wanna have either your heels in line or your heel in line with the middle of the back foot. This is completely up to you, depending on what feels best for your hips. So play around with those two options, see whichever one feels best. Come deep through the front knee, and then windmill the arms up, the chest is open up towards the left side, warrior two. Come deep through the front knee, make sure that you engage your glutes here, so you're squeezing your butt cheeks together. Keep pressing firmly through the outer edge of the back foot. Three more breaths. Make sure the shoulders stay relaxed. In your drishti, your focus point is over the front middle finger. On your next inhale, bring the arms up at a 90 degree angle, so fingertips pointing up towards the ceiling. Unbend your front leg, bring the toes halfway in, and then bring the back heel halfway in. So both feet are diagonally pointing out at a 45 degree angle. That comes through the knees again, coming through a goddess squat, as they call it. You want to make sure that your ankles here are somewhat underneath the knees and you engage your glutes again. So imagine that there would be a wall behind you. You're trying to bring the outside of your legs against the wall. So you're trying to open the legs here. Maybe come a little bit deeper. If you want to challenge yourself, option two, lift your heels off of the floor. This is going to make it extra challenging for your balance. Keep your core nicely engaged. Two more breaths. You exhale, bring your heels down. Stretch out the legs again. Bring your back foot in. Front toes forward. Come back to a warrior two. You might have to walk your back foot a little bit more back. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bring your right hand on the inside of the right foot. Left arm will reach overhead. This is the point where maybe you wanna use a block underneath your right hand. You could use it on the first stance, second stance, third stance. Just play around with the height here of the block until you feel comfortable in this pose. I'm just gonna put mine to the side because I don't really need it. But you want to imagine that you're bringing your whole body into one plane. So imagine there's a wall behind you, and in front of you, you're trying to squeeze into that little space. And exhale, bring your left hand down. Slip your back foot forward. Your feet will be hips distance apart. 
feet are parallel. Bend your knees, sit your hips back as if there's a chair behind you. Inhale, reach your arms up, coming to your chair pose. Make sure you keep your core nicely engaged. Keep pressing the hips back. And see if you can tuck your tailbone a little bit under. Three more breaths. Last breath here. And then from here, fully extend, inhale. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Good. From here, bring all of your balance onto your left foot. Lift your right heel off of the floor. Make sure your core is nicely engaged. And then you want to lift your kneecap, your left kneecap up. So imagine that you're trying to drag your kneecap up in the direction of your hips. Core is engaged, as I said. From here, extend your right leg back and start um, shifting your weight forward. So coming to a warrior three, the crown of your head is reaching forward. Make sure you keep engaging the inner thighs to keep the hips nicely in line here. So don't allow this right hip to open up like this. You wanna keep pressing the front of the right thigh down. Keep engaging the inner thighs and then press through the ball of the right foot back. Core stays engaged. One more inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down, come back to your plank. Step both feet back, take a deep breath in. Exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra, full cobra, or maybe an upper dog. Exhale, down dog. Walk your feet back together. Deep breath in and out. On the inhale, bring your left leg straight up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Transition to your warrior two, so bring your back heel onto the floor, either heel to heel alignment, so they're creating a nice line, or you wanna have your front heel uh, in line with the middle of the back foot. Again, play around, bring your foot in, foot out, see how that feels to you. Windmill the arms up, come to your warrior two. Again, big bend in the front knee here. Engage your glutes, so squeeze your butt cheeks together to open the hips and then press through the outside edge of the back foot. Arms are long, but relaxed. And then look over the front middle finger. Three more breaths. Here we come a little bit deeper through the front knee. Inhale, bring the arms at a 90, deg 90 degree angle. Straighten your front leg, bring the toes halfway in, and then bring the back heel halfway in as well. So the feet are pointing at a 45 degree angle out. You might have to walk your feet a little bit closer and then bend through the knees, come to your goddess squat. Again, your ankles should be somewhat underneath your knees. You wanna engage your glutes so that you can open the knees as far back as possible. Keep your core engaged. So imagine that you're trying to pull the fronts of the hips in towards your lower ribs. And then if you want to challenge yourself, option two, lift your heels off of the floor. Maybe come a little bit deeper, three breaths. Try to find a point somewhere in the room that you can focus on to help you with balance. Last inhale. Exhale, heels down. Come back to your warrior two. So big bend through the front knee, back leg is extended, back foot at a 90 degree angle. Exhale, left hand on the inside of the left foot, reach your right arm overhead. Again, option here to use your block as a prop to help you um, basically bring the floor closer to you. All right, you wanna make sure that you're trying to create one plane here with the body. So don't allow the hips to Poke too much out to the side. See if you can bring them underneath your upper body. Keep engaging your booty muscles. Maybe come deeper through the front knee. Last big inhale. Exhale, place the right hand down. Step the back foot forward. Feet your hips distance. Bend your knees, sit your hips back. Inhale, reach up with the upper body. Maybe sink a little bit deeper through the legs again. 
keep engaging your core. Your legs should be shaking by now. Good, two more breaths. All right, next inhale, fully extend. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Last little pose here. Well, for the strengthening part, <laughs> the intense part, you'll shift your weight over to your right foot. Lift your left heel off of the floor. So all of the weight here is onto the right leg. Make sure your core is nicely engaged. And then see if you can engage your quadriceps. So the front of the right thigh by pulling your right kneecap up. Once you have that going on, start um, shifting the weight. So you come forward with your chest, the left leg moves back. Keep engaging the inner thighs. Keep pressing through the ball of the left foot back. And see if you can create a T position with the body, so the letter T. One more deep inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down, step both feet back. Last time here, come to your plank position. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come down to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra, full cobra, or upper dog. And then exhale, down dog. On your next inhale, bend your knees. Bring the hips back, and on the exhale, step the feet forward towards the front of the mat. See your hips all the way down. Take hold of the backs of the legs, and then roll all the way down towards the mat. So you're onto your back. Step your feet down onto the floor. Tuck your hips under. And then from here, bring the right ankle on the outside of the right knee. So you want to create a figure four with your legs. Your right arm will come through the legs, left arm will come around. Either you hold onto the back of the left thigh, option one, option two, to hold of your shin, left shin. From here, you wanna press your left knee in while at the same time pressing the right knee away from you. So left knee comes in towards you, you actively press the right knee forward towards the front of the mat your shoulders, the tops of the shoulders as relaxed as possible. And then flex the toes of your right foot. So the leg that's on top. You should feel a nice stretch uh, on the right hips, or the right hip, I should say. You only have one right hip. Three more deep breaths. If you are quite out of breath from that sequence that we've just done, the intense one, see if you can calm your breath down again. Taking deep belly breaths. On the exhale, bring your feet back down, switch over to the other side. This time bring your left ankle on the outside of the right knee. This time the left arm will come through the legs. Either hold on to the back of the thigh or the shin. From here, this time press your right knee in as you press the left knee forward and away from you. Flex the toes, especially of your left foot. And then see if you can bring your breath towards your left hip. Keep your breath as soft as possible. Feel free to close the eyes. Relax your shoulders muscles of your face. Three more breaths here. Last breath in and out. And then from here, bring both knees into your chest, firmly hug them in. Give yourself a good squeeze here. Maybe gently rock from side to side with the hips if that feels good for the low back. Allow the hips to stretch and relax here. Last two breaths. And then take hold of the backs of the thighs, roll up, to a seated position and that was it guys 
you guys have made it through this quite intense booty and leg flow. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's any classes that you would like to see in the future. And make sure to like this video if this is a practice that you enjoyed. Leave a comment. Let me know how you felt after the class. Um, my legs are still kind of shaking a little bit. <laughs> um, but anyways, I will see you guys next week with a new yoga class. Namaste.